Hey there guys, Gareth here, welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Lean. Okay, first interesting thing to note is there is no CD or DVD playback support. As you can say, it says CD Drive D. And it says it can't access the disk because there's no support for CD or DVD. Secondly, there is no default desktop wallpaper, but I'm not going to show you that yet because it's actually got my wallpaper for my Microsoft account. So my PC will have a wallpaper because it might use my wallpaper for my Microsoft account. But there are no included wallpapers. Apparently, there have been so many Windows packages because Windows is built on packages that have been removed as well from, from this version of Windows 10. This is how bare bones the admin tools are. I'm going to try running task scheduler. I said in a minute see a message telling me that I can't because of that MMC is missing. See? Always use this app to open MSC files, which is the Microsoft Management Console. And look, how do I want to open the app? Notepad. Or look for an app in the store. This is because this version of Windows 10 is really like locked locked down. And the reason why this version of Windows 10 is so locked is because quite a lot of the components have been removed. I'm going to show you guys the start menu shortly and then you'll see what I mean. I'm going to run power cell. It's missing. I'm going to red edit. .exe. You should see an error about register editor. I'm going to run MS Paint. You'll see sort of that paint. It's not installed either. As you can see. You can't download stuff in Microsoft Edge because you know the download UI doesn't so up properly. Control panel is severely limited. To name a few restrictions. Start menu is quite empty. There's no photo that. There's no tips. There is no mixed reality portal, mixed reality viewer, there's no solitaire, there's no map, there's no messaging, there is no Skype. And no, I've not uninstalled all these apps. These apps have already been removed when I set them up, they're not even in the image. But the ISO is two gigs smaller. My install is slightly smaller on the disk, around I think two or so gigs smaller as well. This is built for six the right pieces of less than or about 16 gig of storage or even less guys. Anyway but there have been so many packages that have been removed from this skill from Dose 10 that you know you can barely use this edition as a daily driver for now and I don't recommend using it anyway. I don't even recommend you linking up to my account. But I've done that already, so to my day to day one, so I'm a bit worried, but oh well. It says here it's Windows 10S, but it is not Windows 10S. Because I can say for a fact it's not Windows 10S. This is just a virtual machine by the way, so hence why it's lagging like crazy. Thing to be, when while I'm trying to open up the settings on this VM, if ever VM lags the most is loading up stuff like the settings or the command prompt or something. So as you can see this is not Windows 10S. This is just what it's labelled as. And yep, this is Windows Insider Build 17650, which is Redstone 5, so that's probably when this will see the light of day. And as you can see, I can't put any, one, any power cell scripts even in CMD, because they're not there. I'm going to do a reg. Hey, it's so you can see it's software. That's Microsoft. Slash Windows. NT. Slash current, whoops, if I can feel current, right, 
I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the right registry value anyway. But I haven't typed this command before because I'm not going to bring up the death, death, the desktop registry editor. But in this scoot, I am unable to do that. So, you know, I might have typed, typed it in. Well, yes, I have. No, who is that actual one command? But hey ho, I'm not in the command line out of the desktop UI in Windows. It is fair enough, and this is not going to be Windows Polaris, this is not one on the Windows Andromeda device, because this is very much still based on Win32, rather than based on Core OS. I'm going to go to settings, all the categories appear like normal, I'm going to go into all the options. But you know, all the settings look normal. Oh yeah, by the way, quite a load of feature packages have been removed, I might have said this a few times, but still. You can't activate this edition, at least not yet anyway, it won't let you activate Simplaz. Then there's also quite a load of apps on the 64 bit version, which is what I'm running in this virtual machine. Most of the inbox apps are not present. However, I've seen pictures of the ARM 64 version, which is what runs on tablets and smartphones, which will have all the inbox applications in like these modern UWP ones, but not so well with the desktop apps because I've not seen them on any of them really. This edition of Windows is pretty gimped up, like apparently you can't even install Office, but I've not tried it yet, but that's according to what I read. Anyway, as you can see, the settings looks normal, so we're probably not going to go through all the settings. Anyway, that was a quick look at Windows 10 Lean. Anyways, Windows 10 Lean. We're not sure yet when it be available, but we don't think it be available until at least this fall, which is when Redstone 5 is scheduled to be released. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.